Hello, hello guys, we're to week number 6 of the UBL Where we are back in Sweet Banana Gaming and her Solgaleo... No, Orlando Solgaleo Why? Orlando Solgaleo, you can see it down here You can, you can literally see it down here in the video, so we good um, <laughs> Yeah, she's a new coach that um, took over when one of the others dropped off But uh, she, she has a team here um, And it's kind of messed up because I already actually did the battle before this you can you can kind of see what she got like she she has some things definitely um kind of what i especially expected which no spoilers so i'm not even going to say it um was definitely expecting the venusaur because venusaur would just be hmm, except for pityard it doesn't like pityard but regardless yes um she has like ambipom larios which would be a threat toxin picks which is just annoying and say who hits like a truck Galvangelo with sticky webs could be annoying. Satu for some wish passing. Primarina to just destroy souls. Crocodile because Crocodile is a nuisance. Registeel because <laughs> it basically walls Pityard and Mianxiao who could definitely just wreck the team. So uh, <laughs> we had to kind of build around that and we ended up with these six. And um, we are going over them slowly but surely. Um, not in the same order as they are on the screen, like it, it doesn't matter. We'll start out with Dance, so you can see it here. Um, a physically bulky, do you say, oh, oh, beautiful. A physically bulky Dancy. We'll start Frogs, Moonblast, Power Gen, and then Light Scream, because we were a bit like iffy with what to choose for the last moves, but like Moonblast and Power Gem hits basically most of the team for what it can. Uh, start Frogs, because she has things like the Galvantula, the Satu, and the Entei especially. Just to break any unfortunate sashes or something could be nice. Um, and then light screen because if she has like Ladios, Venus, or Primarina, I mean, we wouldn't want to keep it in basically against Primarina and the Venus. Or, but still, <laughs> if we could get on the switch, then we can reduce the damage it would take, and that could be super useful. Um, then we go into having the Um Okay, fast. Okay, speedy. That was the same thing I said. Wow! Okay, special attack! <laughs> um, some bulk to be able to take, um, to be able to live any Q from a crocodile if there's no rocks up. Copper Barrier to take knockoffs from things like Ambipum. I mean, we also get knockoffs too, I think. And um, crocodile, mostly. Uh, me and Xiao too. Was just U turn blue flare psychic and then protect to kind of scout because Ambipum gets fake out. If she has some things that are like, you know, scarfed, then also having. Protect to kind of scalp with the luck himself and to play around that could also prove useful. Then we have Mega Pitchyard, um, U-turn Hurricane Bruce Protect. Yes, it's the right one. I, I just had <laughs> to look at it instead of it. Pretty speedy, pretty bulky. We wanted to make sure that it could live a Stone Edge from a Jolly Crocodile after Self Rocks, basically. So, so not to get revenged by that thing, basically. So, super bulky. Uh, hurricane spam against this team. Like, other than the Registeel and, I mean, Toxapix is fat. Like, other than those two, like, nothing really wants to eat Hurricanes. At least not too many of them. And just Roost, you know, heal up. Protect, again, the same reason for Vatini, like, to kind of get the opportunity to scout and to avoid fake out damage. Then we have Heracross. Kinda did work last week. Hopefully it can you know do it again. This is like a this is the wall breaker. With some speed, of course, attack and then just um the rest in HP. Hopefully you're able to destroy some lives. We'll see. We have Katana with Chersk off. Hopefully what we'll should be able to come in late game and clean up with Leaf Blade, Nargoff, Sacrosol, Psychocard. Psychocard basically just for the Venusaur. Like that, that's basically it. Sacred Soul because it hits like Registeel. I mean, it hits Ambibum too. Also, not the worst against the Kuda, but you're relatively quick speed. And then knock off to get rid of items if you predict switches and such. Like fun stuff and just like fully offensive, fully speed because we wanted it to outspeed a Scarf eventually, so had to run full. And then lastly, we have Skunk Tank make it make it to So I come out to pursue Potion Gap with Defa because. In case we get some rocks up, because like our team is kind of weak to rocks. I mean, especially Victina and Pidgeot, who are like the pivoting Pokemon, they don't like it. So, in that case, we have it. Um, Pursuit Sucker Punch. 
you know, kind of good against something like a Latios. To kind of lock it in, do some damage to it, potion jab to hit other things, except Registeel, I guess, basically. Actually, his Premier Arena pretty hard too. So, um, that's the team. I will be back with the battle, so sit tight. Okay, so as you can see, unfortunately, we are not live. Um, I kind of scheduled this match for the morning because I was like, oh, my roommate will be in classes, and today she decided not to go to class, so, uh, I didn't have the room for myself, so it, it's it, it's not live, but um, at least we have it on Wi-Fi this week, so small blessings. Ne next week should be live for all intents and purposes. She should be on work, so unless she's like super sick, can't go to work, we should be good. It's kind of what I'm hoping for at least. Um, so we just jump into it. You can see the... Oh, actually... Why, why did my 3DS stop? Okay, so my cable decided to jump out, so we try again. You can see the 62 springing. I also fixed it down on the screen, so now it's nice. So now we can kind of get through it and take it as it comes. Um, I was like, I'm leading the anti because like it can basically hit just about anything on her team. As she leads on with Entei. Which, we ki I kind of have the anti for Entei, but at the same time, Entei gets Iron Head. And, uh... Two weeks, two, was it two or three weeks ago? I don't remember, but at some point we got kind of surprised by an iron head from uh, Arcanine, so I am kind of scared for her. So I went to Victini because, like, Victini, I mean, can hit, take a fire move, which it goes for, well, sacred fire, <laughs> does a lot. So it's out this thing is choice banded. But, like, it could eat both an iron head and a sacred fire, so now we can know these like this. So I'm like, I go into the hands again. Can put in some pressure as she makes a double switch into this thing, which is the crocodile. Um, who intimidates, which of course doesn't matter because Dancy just doesn't care. She's a pretty little princess. Um, but yeah, she decides to withdraw. I think she expected me to go for Stealth Rocks, which I did not. I just went for a Moonblast. So we get some damage off on this thing. Actually, I made a little HP bar, so we, we can kind of see. Which did a lot, and got special attack drops too, which, I mean, you never say no to special attack drop. But I was like, hmm, I can just click Power Jump. So I think I just click Power Jump as she goes into this thing, which is the Venusaur. Um, so we kind of get to scout a bit, find out that uh, this is a bulky, but not especially bulky Venusaur. But obviously I don't want to have Dancy say So I'm not like, Pidgeot can take a hit and pressure this thing. Um, and this thing, of course, like it just mega evolves. Like, why wouldn't you? I mean, she has to, but again, why wouldn't you make up all your Venusaur? <laughs> so this thing mega evolves the size switching, and it's, it goes for Slash Bomb. And it does a lot, but not too much. So I predicted it to switch, so I was like, yeah, I'm clicking this one. She, I, I thought she was not real, she would not stay in. Hindsight, I think like just clicking Hurricane twice could actually have been super good here. <laughs> because like this thing, I am pretty sure it would not have lived. Because around how much the it, it would not have lived to hurricanes. But anyway, as it is, goes for a U-turn. Nothing to do. Just get Kevin back in the back. And throwing out this thing. Who gets the CPU? Because it's like, you know, this thing can't do too much to a uh, stink. So uh, she goes for U-turn, which is pretty nice. I went for the pursuit, and I was not sure how it would work, but luckily it. it it actually works, but uh, unfortunately, this thing survives. <laughs> so it basically, I mean, it, it got it down, far down, so it's okay. And uh, she goes into this thing, Crocodile. In seven days, and of course, that means that I cannot stay in. And I was a bit like, hmm, what to switch in? And I was like, there's probably an EQ coming, but it could also be so and so. I went into Katana, which turns out not to be the brightest idea <laughs> because she goes for knockoff, so. Uh, Suddenly, we are not faster than the Ambipom, and if the Gaventure does Scarf, we're not faster than that, or the Springer fits Scarf for that sake. So now I'm like, okay, we go into Pidgeot, we see, as a she withdraws too. <laughs> I, of course, expecting a Leaf Blade maybe, um, goes into this thing, which is about as awful as it could be. So I just hard switch because I did not want to risk this thing being Scarfed and Leaf saying Pidgeot, because I need a Pidgeot. So go into that and see, it's. it's Healthy, it can take a hit. Um, and I mean, it takes a hit, so it's nice, but also gives a switch initiative. The good thing is, she doesn't have a lot of things against Diancy. Oh, 
Like she has things that can hit it, but she doesn't have things that takes hits from dancing that well. At this time, I expected her to expect me to switch into Pidgey, so I was like, nah, staying in. I'm clicking light screen because now I can switch Pidgeot in and get to roost up a bit and hopefully, you know, get Pidgeot up in health, be ready to rock the world for the rest of the game. Um, as she withdraws, uh, she, she will not dealing with that. And I, of course, just go into Pidgeot. As this thing comes out. Don't know if she was expecting Rock or something again. I I cannot say. Maybe she also just wants to sag it off. Also possible. But we got to Pidgeot. And I was like, hmm. This thing shouldn't be able to do too much. So I was just like, we're roosting. And then I realized that this thing gets both Rish and Roost. And I was like... But it, it didn't show that it was super defensive. So I was like, we should actually still be able to take it out. And, you know, she goes for a wish. I got a bit like, oh shit, does this thing have protect? But it turns out that, uh, I mean, either it didn't have it or she didn't click it. But uh, we get to take this thing out. So pretty much claims a little, a little kill. And uh, the wish, unfortunately, becomes very wasted. Then I'm looking like here last time. No, here, actually. I clicked for sake because I wanted to see what she locks herself into. That's what happened. And, as it turns out, she locks herself into Iron Head. And it makes sense because last time I switched into Diancy. And then I look at the damage output from Bandit Entei. And I was like, I can live too. And I too shot this thing. So I was just like, nope. Go for the Hurricane. Get a Confusion. Doesn't matter because it still hits its Iron Head. And like now, I was like... I did not expect it to stay in, basically, at this point. So I was like, I could get a free roost. Is what I believe I did. Is that what I did? Because I was questioning myself a lot. Like, yeah, I did that. Because I was questioning myself, like, I could either get damage off or something. Like, something like that was switch in, would not like it. But I could also keep this thing healthy. And I decided to keep it healthy. And I was like, you know, I can never hit. You're not real. I'm going to click Hurricane and do a lot. And get another confusion because Pidgeot is talented. But unfortunately, uh, her Pokemon are pretty talented too. And she goes for a taunt. Don't know if expecting a switch or just did not want to deal with the Protect Roost shenanigans. Could be a thing. But uh, Pidgeot gets to claim another, another soul. So, Kukut I disappeared. So, Pidgeot's doing work. And at this point, I'm like, Pidgeot can basically clean this team up. I, w I wanted to destroy things, but at this point, I still believe this thing is scuffed, so I, I did not want to stay in, basically. So I was looking, it's like, you know, this thing doesn't actually do that much now. And like, it's special defense, so it can take some hits, and it'll all be nice and jolly. It can, it can like, get a little bit of damage, and it can get paralyzed by a thunder. That's also, that's all sorts of things. And then just stack a punch. To get some damage off because we were not at the point where Hurricane would be able to take this thing out. And now I'm not 100% sure of the item as this thing survives and he's a Sparry. <laughs> Wasn't sure Pidgeot would survive. Like it would survive a scuff, but it wouldn't survive like Thunder from an expert build, for example. But uh, or it would be a roll, I think. But we just keep this thing in and we just take on damage and we get paralyzed. I was going for a pursuit because I was like. Nah, she's not staying in, but she was, so. But in, in the end, it doesn't matter. We get this down to, like, just below 20%. As a skunk tank, you know, kind of dies, but she also kind of didn't end up getting rocks up, and she didn't have Ladio, so, like, its value was kind of, you know, iffy. But here, she has to go into Venusaur, and this looks just like, at this point, Pidgeot has a field day, so I just spam Hurricane. So that's what I do. I click Hurricane. <laughs> <laughs> um, of course, because we're defensive, we actually don't take this thing out. But, you know, we do a lot. And we get a slush bomb in the face, which is, of course, not the most fun. But, you know, we take it and we just click Hurricane again, basically. And at this point, like, anything would die to a Hurricane. Like, she did not have anything that could switch into a Hurricane. So, yeah, Pidgeot claiming kills. Um, that's, like, why I was like, we just need damage on this thing, then Pidgeot's good. But here we go for protect, because, like, Fake Out is so obvious and... Like, there was no reason to take the cheap damage. So it was just like, yeah, yeah, I'm not taking it. And then I go into Diancy because, you know, Diancy resists basically most things this can do other than like Seed Bomb. 
And she kind of had the problem that, you know, you want elemental punches, as we see here, which is Ambipom taking his revenge because we got frozen. <laughs> oh, I think Ambipom is mad that I dropped it. Poor thing. Poor soul. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we get we get frozen. And, I mean, she, you know, just takes it and goes for a U-turn to, you know, kind of get in, get some momentum back. And goes out into the end, say, which is this point, you know, can destroy Diane's face, basically. <laughs> it's basically the only thing that can destroy Diane's face. But Diane is real queen because she falls out. Guess it was a good thing I dropped Diane Bomb anyway, even though I still kind of love it. But Diane is definitely <laughs> making up for it. So we get the end take on. So at this point, like, it's looking super good. And she goes out into the Ember Bomb again, and I'm like, she does not go for seed bomb. She does not have seed bomb. So I was like, we we can eat like fake out return combination. If that's what she had, and like Ambipop's losing health, so like now we get to the point where a hurricane should take it out. And Gather should show that it wasn't scarf when a ball switched. Um and she goes for an ice punch. You know, and I go for Moonblast. And unfortunately this does actually not take out the Ambipom. But I was like, okay, Ambipom is going to take me out now, and that means that. You know, then Pidgeot could come in, and then like Pidgeot can claim the last kills. But um, as it turns out, Tansy did not die, <laughs> and I was like, I just click still first because yeah, you know, I go to die anyway. But uh, I didn't, so that basically means that uh, you know, Gavantula is dead on reentry, and <laughs> it becomes it's it's quite anticlimactic. But um. What can you do? I was expecting Dancy to go down, but uh, she wanted to live today, so there's nothing I could do. She she claimed it. So we we are continuing the win streak actually. I think we're like four and two now, so we're looking good. Like we we're getting up in the league, <laughs> which is nice. We needed it after the two first weeks. Um, but as always, um, her link is down in the description. The link to my assistant coach is also in the description because he is the freaking reason why we, we've been able to make the 180 degree actually beginning to win things. So, yeah, that's it for this week. What can I say? Hopefully we can keep it up next week. So until next time, keep it cool. Bye!